how to maximize the benefits of using Credit Karma. Hello everyone and welcome back to Nova Rice Invest, your channel for financial education. So today we're going to talk about Credit Karma, how you can make the most out of using that platform. Most people think that Credit Karma is just simply a tool to just check out your score and that's the end of it. But no, Credit Karma can do a lot more than that for you. So let's just go ahead and check it out. Before we start, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can continue receiving notifications for episodes like this. So right now we're checking out the account of our fictitious character, Chepito Gonzalez. Chepito is a real estate investor who is made very famous by Nova Rice and he has a ton of anecdotes to share with everybody so that we can learn from his mistakes his lesson and be better off ourselves right so here is chapito's account right here uh, he is sharing with us his profile and credit karma and as you can see right here up front we have uh, his transunion score at 669 and we have his equifax score at 681 now the question is what is this this is the vantage score and I want to make sure that you understand that the Vantage score is not the same as the FICO score. So let's just go ahead and click on the icon right here. And I want you to learn more about the differences between the two. So what we're going to do is just to scroll down and try to understand the credit score ranges. And as you can see here, there is a comparison right here between the Vantage and the FICO score. Okay, now I'm gonna zoom back out so that we can both check out how everything looks like. So if you are in the range of excellent, your Vantage score is at 781 and 850. But then if you check into the FICO, you are in the range of the 800s and 850. But then what's funny is that when you go down on very good, there's no such a category in the Vantage score. But then when you're in the FICO, you're at 740 and 799. So it's important that you know the differences between the two and make sure that whenever you go into a lender, you check with them, what type of score are you using? Are you using the FICO score? Or are you using a Vantage score? Because depending on the profile, the score that you're seeing in your Credit Karma account might be very different from the one that you're seeing in your FICO profile. Now, so we're back here to the homepage and I wanna make sure you get the best out of it. So as you can see, this page has a lot of ads, so to speak. It feels like it has a lot of noise, but those ads, they serve a purpose, right? So if you scroll here all the way to the right, you will see that there are a couple of offers with, um, you know, giving you access to personal loans. And as you can see here, you will get kind of like the uh, Credit Karma approved check mark, so to speak, that tells you the probabilities of you getting this loan approved. So uh, in the case of Chapito, he is being offered uh, by Marcus, by Goldman Sachs, a loan amount of $26,000 with an estimated APR of 5.99. That means that his monthly payments will be a 791 and he has outstanding chances of getting this loan approved. Now, should he go for it? I don't know. That will depend on his need. Maybe he needs to bump up his credit score temporarily. I don't know. For whatever reason, just know that the offers are right here on the right side so that you can actually check it out and see if it's something that's worthy of you checking, right? And so if you wanna find out more about each of the score, you can simply just come here and then just click on the TransUnion box or uh, the other uh, credit bureau box, and you will see the fluctuations on your credit, in this case in Chapito. So in TransUnion, he has a 669 and it's been quite of a roller coaster for him. And let's just check out over here, Equifax, he has a 681, and yeah, it still feels like a roller coaster, but overall is doing better than TransUnion, right? So as you scrolling down th through his profile, you will see the details about his account. So Credit Karma is telling you here what score or what chunk of uh, the category has a high impact in your credit and what has a medium impact. So in his case, Chapito has uh, an excellent payment history. So it's showing that it's what's impacting his score the most and he pays on time 100% of the time. So that's excellent. Then in terms of credit card use, it also has a high impact and it's showing that he's using 24%. And then any derogatory marks, none, there's nothing. So that's a good thing. And what makes up a derogatory mark? So anything that has fallen into collection, tax lien, bankruptcies, uh, or any civil judgments on your credit report. So luckily, 
Chapito doesn't have any of that. So uh, if you want more details about the payment history, you can just simply click on view details and it will show you the details. Hey, Chapito, you have a stellar payment history, yada, yada, what to know, how this is calculated, your credit card use, yada, yada. It tells you every single little thing that you need to know. Now, let's just go back to another page. Now it's saying that, hey, your credit age is for four years and two months, and um, it has a median impact. It seems like he's not doing so well, but hey, what are you going to do about it? He probably opened up a lot of credit cards at the very last minute, and maybe that's just drawing the history on his credit report. So let's say you want to find out. It's saying that you need work. Hey, what makes up a good one? Maybe he needs six years. Maybe he needs seven. I don't know. But then you will see that it's telling all the details that he needs to to know so he can work on improving his credit. Total number of accounts, 31, and then any heart inquiries, oh, we all know about that. The heart inquiries, they tend to hurt our credits, right? Uh, he has nine. Here are the details that he can check out. Nine in total, needs work, yada, yada, and you can check that yourself. So now I wanna come back to this page and I wanna keep scrolling down to show you what else could you be getting out of your profile in Credit Karma. And those are offers right here. So depending on your credit profile, Credit Karma will also make recommendations to uh, credit cards that you can apply for. So let's say if you're actually in the market and you're looking for a recommendation and a good credit card, but you don't know where to start or where to go about it, here is the website that's showing you everything that you need to know. So here's the City Diamond Preferred Card. Very good approval odds of getting approved. Hey, it's uh, it has a promotional 0% uh, uh, balance transfer. And then after that, that's the variable rate. What other more details you need to know. So you expand this and it tells you everything, all the parts, everything you need to know about the car right here. Let's say you didn't like the car. You want to know more. So you're going to come here and you're going to explore. All you have to do is just come all the way to the top, hit where it says today, click on recommendations and voila, let the page do its magic. So look at all the different recommendations that it has. Look at your approval odds, Chapito. Now we're talking about an excellent approval odd. Uh, here's the Discover It Balance Transfer Car. Um, let's find out more about what the car has to offer, yada, yada. So here are the car details, zero APR, uh, balance transfer as well. Sounds like it's a great deal, but then maybe he wants to explore more. Let's just check on the reviews. Look at all the reviews from people. Maybe he wants to check other things. Maybe he doesn't care so much about the balance transfer. Maybe he just wants to know more about 0% credit cards aside from Discover. So now you got City Custom Cash. There's also Wells Fargo. There's also Discover It, we just looked into. And then the City Diamond Prefer. There's another one from Wells Fargo, City Rewards Car, City Double Cash Car. Look, there's plenty of cars for him to check out. And this is just the website. You can also download the application as well, whichever way is more convenient for you. Let's say you wanna learn more stuff around here. So let's say you wanna check out any auto loans that are available. Um, you wanna get access to insurance. You want to be able to refinance a loan or maybe sell or trade your car. Anything you need to know, the resources are here. So let's say I wanna do a loan refinance. All I gotta do is just to click on there and there you go. So. I got Rate Genius over here and it's showing that, hey, I have this loan. If you want to get started, go ahead and do that. This is an excellent tool. Now, let's just proceed and check what else this Credit Karma has to offer. And while I'm scrolling down, if you're enjoying this episode, do not forget to hit the like button right here so you can help these episode rank and help others like you who are looking for information of this kind. So now we're scrolling down and there are other things that I want to explore here in Credit Karma. So they talk about credit cards. There's also options of personal loan, building your credit, how to get access to credit cards that can help you build your credit, how you can lower your car payment, insurance payment. Hey, I want to know average borrowing power amongst members is 34,488, but you can borrow a higher amount. Let's check out the details over here. As you can see, Credit Karma, it's a lot more than just a website where you can check out your score. It has a lot more tools that you can see, and it is up to you to take advantage of it. While I still have you here, do not forget to check this episode right here that's gonna help you complement everything you just learned today. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.